Hello friends, this video on sound part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now talk a little bit on ultrasound. So the reason why we are talking about ultrasound is that ultrasound has got a hell lot of applications in our day to day life. I'm sure all of you would have heard of this term ultrasound in many different medical purposes. I mean, if if you would have ever seen an elderly person in your family going to a doctor due to some other, other problems, many a times the doctor says that please go and get an ultrasound done of your stomach or get an uh, ultrasound done of your uh, some other organ, right? So this ultrasound is a very common term in the medical field. And also ultrasound has got many other applications. So that is why we will discuss about ultrasound quickly. So what is ultrasound? As I mentioned, sound waves with high frequency above 20 kilohertz. So what is the uniqueness of ultrasound? Why ultrasound is useful in so many different uh, applications? The uniqueness is that ultrasound has the ability to travel along well-defined path even with obstacles. That means ultrasound can pass through obstacles. So that means even if in a path there are obstacles, ultrasound can pass the ob obstacles and move along. So that is why ultrasound is, because of this uniqueness, it is used in medical diagnostic purposes a lot. So we will see how it is useful in medical diagnostics. So applications majorly in medical field and industries so let us look at the application of ultrasound in industries. So the first application is cleaning machine parts. So what do we mean by machine parts? How is ultrasound used there? So if you look at the machineries that are being used in uh, industries and factories, they are real complicated, right? Have you ever seen a factory or an industry? So if you visit an industry or a factory, you will see that they have such huge and complicated machines. So sometimes those machinery parts, everything has to be cleaned, right? So now those complicated parts, which are not very easy to be cleaned. I mean, you just cannot reach every corner of that uh, part to clean it. So in those cases, what is done is the object which is to be cleaned is put in a cleaning solution and ultrasound waves are sent through that solution. So what happens since the frequency of the ultrasound wave is very high, so what happens the dirt, grease and whatever uh, uh, dirty particles are there, they get detached from that object and as a result the object gets clean. So how is the uniqueness of ultrasound helpful in this case? We saw in the previous slide that the uniqueness of ultrasound is that it can pass through obstacles also. So now when you send the ultrasound through that machine part so even it faces obstacles I mean that metal boundary that metal actually acts as an obstacle but the ultrasound because of its high frequency it has this property that it can pass through the metal object and it goes inside right so because of this uniqueness only it is able to clean the machine parts which are not very easy to reach similarly it can also detect cracks and flaws in metal blocks for example, in, while designing these kind of machineries, you use, we make use of many metal blocks, right? Now, sometimes what happens is that inside the metal, there are cracks present, but we cannot see them from outside, right? So if you have cracks inside the metal, when you start using that machine, what happens? It, they become weak very quickly and the machine will stop working very quickly. So its longevity will not be there if there are cracks or flaws inside the metal block. Now, this ultrasound waves, what they do, these ultrasound waves are sent inside the metal block, somewhat like this. And I suppose if this is a metal block, the ultrasound waves are sent inside the metal block. Now, let us suppose if there are no defects or no flaw. In that case, the ultrasound waves, they pass straight through the metal block and comes out. So here, they keep some detectors outside. So those detectors will detect that whether the ultrasound came back or not. If the ultrasound comes back, that means there were no flaws. Now let us suppose if inside there is some breakage, that means somewhere if let us suppose the, I mean, if there is no breaks in that case, everywhere it will be like the same metal and all. But if there are some breaks, that means somewhere there will be no metal, right? So in that case, what will happen? The ultrasound will meet that breakage and it will get reflected. So it will 
ref get reflected back. So in this case, the detector will not receive the ultrasound. So we will get to know that there is some defect or there is some flaw inside the metal block. So this is how ultrasound is used to detect cracks or flaws in the metal blocks. Now let us look at the uh, medical applications of ultrasound. The first one is ECG that is echocardiography. What is echocardiography? You would have often seen that patients who have got some problem with the heart. So this ECG is a test which actually tells us about the functioning of the heart. It tells us if the heart is functioning properly or not. So ultrasound is nothing but it, it, it is used to reflect back from heart and forms its image. So it, it, kind of, it, it kind of forms an image of the heart on your computer screen. So there also is ultrasound since it, it can travel inside our body, it can travel through the heart. Even though there are so many other things present, it can go inside it, it can come back and bring a reflection of it on the screen. Similarly, it is also used as ultrasound scanner, which is used to scan many different body parts. So the, how ultrasound, let us suppose somebody has a tumor, right? So how does all, somebody has stones in kidneys? So how does the ultrasound tell us that stones are there in kidneys? What happens? The ultrasound reaches your, uh, it reaches inside your body and it sees wherever it founds that there is some tissue abnormalities, it gets reflected back. See, the same, similar way in which how, uh, how it finds the uh, flaws inside the metal block. If everything is okay, it will get, it will come back. It will just travel through and come back. But if everything is not correct, it will get reflected back. So this reflection which comes out is converted into electrical signals and as a result we get a picture on the screen of the scanner. You would have seen that it is not just that ultrasound scanner, that scanner is also attached to a screen so that whatever reflection comes back that gets converted into electrical signals and you get an ultrasound report in the form of a picture where they will also get the dimension. Let us suppose if somebody has a stone in his kidney, so it will also tell us what is the size of the stone, where, is, where exactly is the stone located. So it will give all details about that. So this ultrasound scanner as well as ECG both are extremely useful applications of ultrasound and that is why we discussed about ultrasound in this lesson, right? Because it is something very important and we just cannot neglect it. Correct. So with this, we will close this topic on range of hearing and ultrasound. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.